This, this week on the spotlight, spotlight, we tackle the big we question, tackle the about, big technology. question about, about is it helpful or is it a hindrance to our society and our daily, and our daily lives? lives? We will discuss, we will discuss these, topics these topics and get, get to, the to the bottom of it all. Of it all. I'm David, I'm David Martinez. Martinez. And I'm and Ebony, Ebony Hopper. Hopper. Join, Join us, us as we as experience the positive, the positive and the negative of technology of today, today on, on the spotlight. The spotlight. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of The Spotlight, presented by the Youth Channel. And we would like to thank all of you for tuning in. The Spotlight is a talk show covering topics that affect the daily lives of individuals across society. I'm David Martinez, and this is my lovely co-host, Ebony Harper. Thank you, David. How you doing today? I'm doing great. I am so happy to be here doing our first show and our first episode on the Spotlight. Mm -hmm. Today, we'll be touching bases on how technology has an impact on the lives of individuals around the world. Oh, yes. And one of the biggest technological breakthroughs of the 20th century was the invention of smart technology. Through it, we were able to make calls, but also access the internet and use apps literally. Having the entire world at our fingertips, but I can't even control a basketball on my fingers because it falls off easily. Well, because you need practice. That's exactly. As amazing <laughs> as this technology is, it has had an adverb effect on the health of society. Because of all mm -hmm. the features that technology has to offer, people spend so much time eyes is glued to the screen. Like David right here. Yeah, For like, example. Yeah, just like I'm going to this chair. Ooh, I look good. This chair is so comfortable. I think I'll take a nap here. Oh, I'm sorry. We're doing a show here. Yeah, we're doing a show. Yes. On a serious <laughs> note, <laughs> Ebony and I just like to have fun here, and that's how, what we do on the spotlight. On a serious note, not only does this phenomenon affect how we act, but more importantly, it has caused people to become distant and communicate less in person, causing them to stop using important social skills. This was reported in a study by the Huffington Post in 2011, where they saw that high school students were using cell phones as a means to avoid conversation. Uh, wow. I remember when I was in high school, I, I always had my phone. But Same here. the technology <laughs> phenomena has also caused many people to either become overweight or overly obese. This is due to the fact that many people stay inside and spend all their time on these smart devices. Rather than going outside and being active, they lead leading to a constant buildup of fat. Okay, here's the thing. I'm not sure I can agree with you on that, but I am drop dead gorgeous here. Woo! I'm, I'm not pregnant, I'm just looking good. <laughs> but <laughs> in a study by Lifestream.com, one third of all American children and teenagers are either overweight or obese, making childhood obesity the leading health concern for parents as of December 2015 here. Mm. Mm, that's that's kind of crazy but yeah but we could change that real quick here we could yes but if you think that's bad according to the sleep.org 95 percent of people use some type of electronic device before going to bed oh boy. causing many people to lose track of time and to go to sleep late while other times lead to sleep related illness that's why it's good to power down on an electronic device 30 minutes before it's bedtime I think I'm gonna bring my sleeping bag in here from now on <laughs> to the studio. This is probably one of the reasons why I love my electronic devices. 
I can see, but many people use technology for the wrong reasons. Huh? Well, it's because many people are being bullied online by their peers or just random people through social networks and smartphone apps. As if bullying wasn't already concerns for parents, it's gotten even worse with the advancement of technology moving from the school playgrounds to the internet, allowing bullies to humiliate their victims in front of millions worldwide. I, I had experience with bullying and so it was through social media and so, and it was just not, it was a bad experience I've had in the past through Facebook, Instagram, and I'm pretty sure Snapchat as well. And how did you overcome it? The way I overcome it, it wasn't easy. It was like, I had, what I did was, I had blocked the people off of the social media sites that I don't connect with anymore through Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And that was all I did. But it took some time to recover that, re that moment that I've had with cyberbullying here. But, and it wasn't easy, but that's how it was. But unfortunately, that does not work for everyone else here. Because online bullying has become so responsible for many suicides in the past decade. According to a study on cyberbullying by the Cyberbullying Research Center, cyberbullying was responsible for an uptick between suicides between the ages of 10 to 20 years old in the past decade alone. Mm. Wow. The yeah. research studies also shows that besides the suicide, many adolescents had either thought of suicide or tried to commit suicide at one point or another. As a result of cyberbullying, mm -hmm. leading many parents to worrying about the effects of the modern technology and the social media on the minds of children and adolescents today. Okay, so are you, would you allow your children to use the technology that we have today or not? I mean, they could use it. It's not the technology, it's just more or less the people who hold the technology. So I wouldn't blame it on the people. Mm -hmm. So yes, I would give my kids technology if they use it in the right way and they know how to use it. Yeah, because you know, the thing is, if I were to do that, I would probably would not give the kids their technology that they use that, because you know, there's a point where they could lose their devices very easily if you're 10 years old or no matter what age you are, you just gotta be careful in how you use it and just tr try to display it because you never know if you'll lose it or someone could snatch it out from you and you may never see it again. You'll have to go to your parents and ask for money because technology is expensive these days here. And however, just as modern as technology has had a, po a negative effect on our society, it has had a positive one here. Mm. Some of the positive effects of modern technology, it has been allowing us to communicate with family and friends all around the world through social media and the use of the internet. Creating, managing, creating and managing online businesses as well as taking college courses online, all without even having to leave our homes. Modern technology has pretty much brought the entire world to our fingertips and allowed us to have access to the limited amount of information. Well, indeed. It just depends on how we use it here. We shouldn't oppose the advancement of technology simply because of the negative effects. We have to embrace the possibilities. And I said embrace, get that underlined, embrace the possibilities it could bring to our lives in the world. Amen. Yep, I said the word in church, so Welcome aboard. <laughs> and coming up next, Ebony and I are going head to head. Be prepared, Ebony. We're going head to head in a game called Guess What? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to miss this here on the YouTube channel. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to this Spotlight Extravaganza here on the youth channel. Ebony, are you ready for this? Been ready. Okay, I'm ready as well, but as we begin the game, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ebony, before we begin, would you mind telling our viewers how this game works? 
Oh, well, it's simple. It's basically you have to give clues to your component on what technology you're describing. All right. It's very simple. All right. I can't wait for this fun moment to hear. So let us begin and play Guess What? Good luck, Ebony. And you viewers can wa watching can play along as well. Here we go. All right. Here, you're, are you curious of what I am here? Of course. All right. Well, I'm the type of technology that's infrared. I'm, the, I'm used as the heat source or as an optional burner. You can most likely use me outdoors or sometimes indoors in the kitchen. But try to be careful because I'm electric and hot and contain gas elements. What am I? Are you a grill? Oh, yeah. You See, got it. A gas grill. Mm. I'm too good. I'm too good. All, All right. right. It's your go, Ebony. All right. <coughs> Are you curious to know what I am? Well, that's going to be a tough question, so I'd rather go home and find out. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm curious. Just tell me. All right. You can find me in the airport. I alert when something goes wrong. I'm the bodyguard of all technology. Oh. Do you need more clues? Just give me one more clue, but I think I'm getting the sense of what it might be here, because I've seen it. I mean, that, that's all the clues I have. That's all I'm the, sorry. All the I clues you I have? I didn't really have a lot of clues for this one. I thought you was going to get it well, with the clues I had. I'm guessing it's something where they check your device and write, Metal detector? Metal detector, yes. Right, you're right, you're right. Mm -hmm. I'm very good at pronouncing So do you sound. get that point or no? Now I get it. Okay, okay. Now I understand. Yeah, I don't think I should give you that point, but go ahead. Oh, oh come on, Ebony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to find a tougher one. Well, maybe this will do. You're curious of what I am? Yes, I am. All right. Well, I'm the type of device that uses LED light source. It may be wireless or it may not be, but I can click and point to a computer programs or apps. I'm connected to any computer. What am I? Are you a mouse? Oh, you got this. That was a lucky guess. Uh, I was <laughs> <laughs> I Everybody should know. get this. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I got you. I got Eben you. Ebonique's on a roll. I'm going to get you a good one. Get you. All right. Are you curious to know what I am? I, we are, I am curious. And this, I'll do one more after this here. All right. All right. I was invented in 1897. I can Ooh. be a school supply. I always keep myself sharp. Are you a pencil sharpener? How you know? That sharp just gave away how the you, clue. How you know? How you know? You keep yourself sharp and <laughs> pencils can sharpen. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly what I am. All right. Here, let me give you one more. Okay. I'm going to, and then we have to wrap up and get up our predictions. Woo. Let's see if you're curious of what I am here. Because I'm the technological appliance in the kitchen. I could be in a kitchen, or I could be used in an office, but I, but I could be small as well. I make food and beverages cold or freeze. At times, I can produce ice and cold water. What am I? Wow, are you a freezer? I was almost about to, <laughs> you are a freezer. <laughs> See, I'm too good. I'm you, too nice at this game. I'm too you're nice just at this too game. good to be true at this game here. So I think it's about time for you to give us your prediction. What are your predictions, Ebony, on technology? Oh, 10 years from now or five years? In, well, however you want to put it here. Well, five years from now, I see technology. I see us with a chip embedded in us. Wait a minute. What I really see, like, us being tracked, like, we gonna be having the chip in us. Like, I really believe in that. 10 years from now or five years from now. Are you telling me I'm gonna have a chip inside my body? Yeah. Are you telling me I'm gonna be a robot? <laughs> Not a robot. Wait a minute. Not a robot. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Not a robot. Look, I'd rather have a Plinko chip inside my body, but that's that. I'll take that because I could rank fifty thousand dollars cash at any moment now. <laughs> but in ten, in about a few years from now, I don't know how many, because it's too close to call, that I'm gonna have a chip inside my body and become an active robot. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really, but I'm also predicting that. In a few years from now, you're aware that technology is expensive these days, right? Yes. I'm pretty sure many of you will agree, but I was I wasn't just going to predict that we'll have a technology like prices lower, you know, cuz there's cuz we use the technology that in today's society every day and if we need to buy a new one, we have to spend millions of dollars on it here, you know, cuz it's like very expensive and we can't afford it. So I'm just predicting that in a few years from now, our technolo the technology devices that we use will be much lower compared to the prices than they are here in 2017. Yeah, you agree, right? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this was terrific. And I would like to thank all of you, our loyal viewers, for watching the very first show of the Spotlight. Without you, where would this show be at? Do you have any final words, Ebony? Yes, it's been a pleasure. I'm sorry, Ebony, your time's up, all right? No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, don't do that again. Okay. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, but it's been a pleasure working with you. I really mm -hmm. had fun. I'm glad to share my thoughts and views on how technology has been a huge impact on our society. So yes, oh. I really enjoyed myself. Oh yes, it was a always a pleasure working with you, Ebony, and you did great as host here. I will, I love having you as my co-host, and you did wonderful. Thank you, David. You're very welcome, Ebony. I can't wait to do this show again because I love it. I'd rather sleep here from now on instead. <laughs> and so, ladies and gentlemen. This is our lovely and talented co-host, Ebony Harper. I'm David Martinez, and until then, good luck, be well, be safe, and we will see you on, on the, the spotlight. spotlight. Yeah.